Hey everyone, are you ready for an adventure of a lifetime? We're talking about three jam-packed days in one of the most exhilarating cities in the world, Hong Kong. From towering skyscrapers to mouth-watering dim sum, I've got your ultimate three-day itinerary right here. And believe me, you won't want to miss a single second of this video, because I've got an absolute killer travel tip that I'll only be revealing at the end. So grab your notepad, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and let's dive into three unforgettable days in Hong Kong. Day 1. Tour Around the City First thing you gotta do when you hit the city? Jump on a free walking tour. Trust me, it's epic. You get a cool guide who will show you all the must-see spots and drop some history bombs along the way. And the best part, you decide how much to tip at the end. Don't miss it. View the city from Victoria's Peak. You've got to check out Victoria's Peak. It's like the Instagram capital of the world. Imagine standing a whopping 552 meters high and getting the ultimate bird's eye view of skyscrapers, mountains, and even some secret green spots. It's basically Hong Kong in HD, guys. Want to know the VIP spot for the best views? Head to Sky Terrace 428 in the Peak Tower. You're gonna feel like you're on top of the world. But hey, if you're up for a mini adventure, ditch the crowds and take the Peak Circle Walk. It's a chill two-hour hike and a killer way to see the city's natural beauty. Not a fan of walking? No sweat. Jump on the historic Peak Tram. It's been cruising up that hill since 1888. It runs all day from 7 a.m. to midnight. Getting there is easy peasy. Just hop on Bus 15 from Victoria's Harbor at Pier 5 or from Exchange Square Terminal next to Central Station. Oh, and it's cheap too just 9.8 Hong Kong dollars. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on this. Have a picnic in Hong Kong Park. Just crashed the Victoria Peak hike and need a chill spot? Head straight to Hong Kong Park. Nestled amid the city's skyscrapers, it's the perfect place to kick back and grab a bite. Don't miss the Edward Yud aviary while you're there. It's the largest in Southeast Asia. Trust me, it's pretty awesome. Getting there's a breeze, hop off the metro at Admiralty Station, exit C1, and just follow the signs. The address is 19 Cotton Tree Drive in central Hong Kong Island. Oh, and the best part, it's totally free! Crossing the Hong Kong Island to Kowloon on the Star Ferry Forget the subway, the coolest ride in Hong Kong is the Star Ferry. This bad boy's been cruising since 1888, and trust me, the views are epic. You'll go from Central to Kowloon while soaking in the sights. And here's the kicker. It's crazy cheap. Just two and a half Hong Kong bucks, and it runs every 10 to 15 minutes. Don't miss it. Get on the Sky 100 and enjoy the view. You want to get the best views of Hong Kong? Head over to the Sky 100. It's on the 100th floor of the International Commerce Center in Kowloon. And you'll zoom up there in just a minute by elevator. You'll be 393 meters above the city. Just a heads up, it's about 170 Hong Kong dollars to get in, so it's a bit of a splurge, but hey, for those epic views, totally worth it. You can catch this experience any day from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Don't miss out. Temple Street Night Market and Mong Kok Markets The markets in Hong Kong are like treasure troves, seriously. Whether you're after clothes, cool anime gear, or even camera gadgets, you'll find it all. And guess what? Even if you're not in a shopping mood, just wandering around is an experience you won't want to miss. So go ahead, explore, and soak it all in. Day 2. Hong Kong Museum of History If you're on a budget and staying in Kowloon, you're in luck. For just a few bucks, you can dive deep into Hong Kong's rich history and culture. Don't miss out on this epic journey through time. Kowloon Park If you're hitting up the museum and you're like, okay, what's next? You gotta check out Kowloon Park. Think of it as the chill zone after a day of culture. It's a massive green space that used to be a British army hangout. How cool is that? Now it's your escape route from the city buzz. You'll stumble upon some wicked sculptures, ancient style pagodas, and epic Chinese gardens. Oh, and did I mention the flamingos? Yeah, they live there too. Trust me, Kowloon Park is where it's at. Head over to the Monmo Temple. If you're looking to explore the spiritual side of Hong Kong, you've got to check out the Monmo Temple. 
This isn't just any temple, it's a hot spot for both wisdom and warrior vibes, dedicated to the god of letters and the god of war. Trust me, it's a must visit on Hong Kong Island, don't miss it. End your day at the beach. You want to level up your Hong Kong trip? Cap off day two with a chill session at Stanley Beach. It's close to the city, but feels like a world away. Picture this, you, the sunset, and a whole vibe to recharge your day. Trust me, it's the ultimate Hong Kong chill spot. Day 3. The Great Buddha of Tiantao in Lantau Want a break from the hustle and bustle of Hong Kong? Lantau Island is your go-to spot. It's the largest and most peaceful island here, and it's home to something epic, the Great Buddha of Tiantao. This thing is massive, like 34 meters and 250 tons of bronze, massive, sitting high on Yongping Hill. But it's not just about size. This statue is dripping in culture. It's part of the Po Lin Monastery, surrounded by many gods that symbolize immortality. You can check it out every day between 10 a.m. and 5.45 p.m. Getting there is a breeze, hop on the subway, it's an hour ride from Hong Kong Island. Once you hit Tung Chung Station, you're just a stroll away from the Tung Chung Cable Car Terminal. The starting line for the Nyung Ping 360 Cable Car, or just grab the 23 bus straight to the Buddha. And speaking of getting to the Buddha, you've got options. For the best views, go for the cable car, but it's a bit on the pricey side. If you're pinching pennies, Bus 23 is your ride for just 17 Hong Kong dollars. Feeling brave? You can hoof it up the hill for free. Make a wish at Wong Tai Sin Temple Want to make your wildest wishes come true? Don't miss this must-see temple in Hong Kong. It's got this super cool mix of Taoism, Buddhism, and Confucianism all under one roof. Not only is the architecture jaw-dropping, but the vibes absolutely magical. So, if you got dreams you want to turn into reality, this is your go-to spot. Don't miss it! Chi Lin Monastery in Nanlian Garden Chi Lin Monastery in Nanlian Garden is an ideal place to spend an afternoon. Imagine this, you're kicking back by lotus ponds surrounded by stunning temples. It's the ultimate Hong Kong must-see. And don't even get me started on Nanlian Garden. Think rolling hills, tranquil ponds, and super Instagrammable bridges. It's the perfect getaway for your last day in Hong Kong. Party in the Lung Kwai Fung area. You're gonna wanna make your last night in Hong Kong a memorable one. For the ultimate send-off, head over to Lung Kwai Fung. This area is buzzing with bars and it's the go-to spot for a night out. Now, it's not the cheapest place to grab a drink, but here's a pro tip. Snag some drinks from a mini mart before hitting the scene. You'll thank me later. Make it a night to remember. Tips for your Hong Kong itinerary. All right, folks, let's dive into some essential tips for conquering Hong Kong like a pro. Trust me, you're gonna wanna jot these down. Timing is everything. If you wanna sidestep typhoons and dodge that sweltering summer heat, aim for autumn or winter. It's the Goldilocks season, not too hot, not too cold, just right. Now, don't get caught in a downpour without your gear. Rain is a frequent guest in Hong Kong, so make sure you pack some waterproof essentials. Moving on to getting around the city. Public transport is your best friend here. Snag an octopus card right at the airport and you'll be zipping around like a local in no time. Looking for a place to crash? If you're on a budget, consider the chunking mansions. Yeah, yeah, some say it's sketchy, but honestly, it's mostly hype. It's a haven for budget travelers with tons of small hotels. Just pick one that fits your vibe and your wallet. All right, folks, there you have it. Your ultimate three-day Hong Kong adventure, jam-packed with all the must-sees and must-dos. I promise you, follow this itinerary and you'll leave Hong Kong with memories for a lifetime. Don't forget to smash that like button if you found this video helpful and drop a comment to let me know your favorite part of the itinerary or any Hong Kong tips you might have. Safe travels, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video where we'll tackle another incredible destination. Until then, keep adventuring.